How's, how's it going, guys? Uh, I should start the video. Ready? Hello, everyone. This is Take from BigHeadTalker.com, and welcome to my brand new studio. How does how's it look? Uh, as I've been talking about for a few weeks on other social media platforms other than YouTube, so sorry for my neglect for this channel. I have a boatload of videos coming. Um, I uh, was dealing with uh, some family illness uh, throughout uh, December, and so my wife and I had I had to take the month off, and and then after that I had to move into the studio here because in Canada the weather is not so great. We get a lot of rain here, and it's not so easy for me to shoot videos when I'm. But you either need to go to some of my friends' shops, coffee shops, and and camera shops. And, and to have to bring all my gear. So it was important for me to have a studio. So this is my new studio. You're gonna see more and more of my videos being produced in this location. And I'll be playing around with lighting and, and I don't like autofocus. I bet you right now, autofocus is competing with the monitors behind me. It's trying to focus on the monitors, but um, this will all be worked out eventually. And this is just announced my studio as well as uh, the documentary that I've been working on for the Story Hive, myself, Ryan, and Camera Girl, it's coming out Monday. Like, uh, it depends on when you see this video, but February, what's today's date? February, today's this, February 5th, 2018. And uh, I can't put a link here because there's no link yet, but I will also produce another video, which I actually shot before this one, that I'll give all the links and stuff. So watch for that video, or just subscribe to the Story Hive YouTube channel, and then you'll see when my documentary comes up. But I'm excited to share. It's a 10 minute only documentary, because that was one of the requirements, but I want three episodes. And I need your help to vote, so that I can make the other two episodes. So please, please, if you love the documentary, the minute documentary we're gonna have a longer cut because we have 20 hours of footage but only 10 minutes could actually make the video and some shots like Ryan would go and do a time-lapse all night like not all night but you know as the Sun is setting you know so two-hour time-lapse and it, it makes like eight seconds in the movie right and so that's sort of the nature of, of creating something a little bit more slick like that and so uh, wait for that so I'm excited but as well I, I was gonna announce something let me I, I'll be right back So, so those of you who kind of know me, you guys know that I, I love I love bike riding. I love bikes. I had a paper route in high school. I get up at five in the morning and deliver the paper. Uh, for six years, I rode my bike to work when I had a, a normal job. And so uh, there's this cool brand called Chrome Industries. I'm not sure if you guys heard of them before. I reached out to them and I said, hey, because I noticed they started making camera bags and I wanted to help them because they're great at the bike riding, skateboarding, outdoorsy, kind of hipstery, kind of a, you know, I mean, their head office is in Portland, Oregon, right? They have that down pat, but photography, maybe my input would help. And so I approached them and they were pumped. They wanted to work with me. So they sent me their brand new Nico. Can you, can you guys see that? The, the, their brand new Nico camera bag. And I'm gonna be doing a, a comprehensive and full review, but uh, you're gonna have like that classic you know, you can put a skateboard in the back here, or you can put a blanket, you can put a tripod. They have the, the tie downs and the, the, the straps on the side, but you can put a tripod on the side. Uh, the thing I like about this is the same reason why. <coughs> oh, same reason why I love my beloved um, Skin uh, Yali bag is that the access to the main camera compartment is in the back. I love that. And so. I shouldn't have bumped my new desk. Camera girl's gonna kill me. Um, this camera bag, also, the main access to the your gear is in the back. Check it out from the back. Now, for people that don't travel a lot, maybe that's not a big deal. But I go like when I go to countries like Bangkok, and now I'm going to Jakarta. Even when I'm in Hong Kong. Sometimes you don't want easy access to your to your main compartment because you have like your whatever ten thousand dollar Leica or or your full GFX system. So I think it's fantastic that it has back access only to the main compartment. But doing comprehensive review, uh, I'm excited. It even has a laptop, a well padded laptop sleeve in here. You can hold up to I think a 15 inch. It's very kind of minimalistic 
kind of, you know, square-ish, but I think it's sexy. I think it looks beautiful. So Chrome Industries, Chris and the rest of the team, I look forward to reviewing more bags and more of your products. I think they're sending me more stuff up already. So I'm gonna be doing a review for this and this is a new brand that I'm working with, Chrome. Can you guys see that? Chrome Industries. And that's about it, I think. That and my studio and more videos coming out. So, and you know, if the autofocus is hunting a lot, I apologize. That's just the nature of autofocus. So thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon. Wait for Monday, wait for February the 5th. Come to my channel, watch my intro, watch the documentary, vote on it, and then come back and we'll hang. And don't forget to follow me on other platforms, Instagram, I'm very active on Twitter and I'm kind of neglecting my website. I'm revamping it. I'm working with a brand and and anyways, so we'll talk about that in the future, but uh, comments down below. Don't forget to go ninja on the like button, like button here. And um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and happy shooting.